<laughs> Big Blue's out on the quad. He's having fun. He's entertaining his fans. Big Blue, help! Suddenly, someone calls for help. My name is Mike Williams. I'm the head athletic trainer at Utah State University. This situation happens a thousand times a day across the United States with 360,000 cardiac arrests per year. I'll get the AED. Utah State University provides AEDs across campus so that you can respond to these emergencies. Open the lid and the AED will give you instructions on the appropriate course of action. Stay calm. Follow these voice instructions. Make sure 911 is called now. I'll call. Begin by exposing patient's bare chest and torso. Remove or cut clothing if needed. When patient's chest and torso are exposed, remove square foil package from lid of AED. Tear open foil package across dotted line and remove pads. Next, separate one of the white pads completely from blue plastic liner. Begin peeling from the tabbed corner. Firmly place the pad without the liner on the patient exactly as illustrated. This pad can be placed on either of the two locations shown. Next, peel the blue plastic liner off of the second white pad. Firmly place the second pad on the opposite location exactly as illustrated. After you place the pads on the victim, the AED will monitor the heart rate and it will decide whether to shock or whether not to shock. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. The AED will continue to instruct you on how to take care of the victim. The sooner you attach the AED, the better the chance for survival. Typically, campus police will arrive first. What's going on, Big Blue? Heart stop. You got the AED going? Good. I'm going to get medical in here. Campus police will help guide in emergency medical services. They will want to know as much as you can tell them about what happened. Having a witness full arrest, knowing that there was an AED on scene that's been applied, that's good. Be prepared to follow their instructions and be as helpful as possible. What we need to do is we need to roll him on the side. You want this on? Yep, let's go ahead and start back. Go ahead. After EMS takes over, you can take pride knowing that you have done everything you could to save a life. I've had some experience with an AED myself. On December 4th, 2012, Utah State University basketball player Danny Berger suffered from sudden cardiac arrest. Because an AED was accessible and I had the knowledge to use one, he is alive today. AEDs do save lives. Without an AED and the knowledge of my friend Mike Williams, I might not be here today. I encourage you to get to know where the AEDs are and don't be afraid to use them. It worked for me. The scenes that you've just watched, followed by Danny's story, show how safe and easy to use the AED is. The university has wisely invested in this technology, making it available for you. Know where it is, feel comfortable using it, and be ready to save a life. It's important to know that AEDs are easy to use and built for safety. For more information, go to this website.